Hello everybody and welcome back to the Maniacal Mini. My name is Ryan. Today we are working on The Winged Knight from Dark Souls 3, the board game. So Dark Souls the board game is an ongoing project for me. Um, I, I've already finished Ornstein and Smile. I'll throw a picture up here of them too. Um, I'm having so much fun as a huge fan of this game. Um, it's really cool to be able to paint these guys up. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to paint the Winged Knight um, as well as give you some tips and tricks that I use. Um, I bring in some white ink from um, Liquitex and uh, we're going to be showing you some tips and techniques today on how to use that to enhance the look of your models. Thank you. All right, guys. So I already went ahead and primed the model black. So we are just going to take our airbrush and load it up with some of that Liquitex white ink. And we are going to start hitting all of the cloth all over the model. Um, don't worry if you get a little bit of overspill onto the metal. Um, the silver later is going to cover that up. We just want to get really, really nice coat all over the cloth. Okay guys, so now that we have the cloth covered in that white ink, we are going to come and hit it from above um, with the rest of it just to get that nice zenithal traditional highlight going so we can pick out those shadows. Okay guys, so we're going to load up that magic blue in the airbrush. We're going to hit all of our cloth that we hit with that white ink earlier. It is going to make it super bright and saturated and we are going to desaturate that down later. Okay guys, so bringing in that game metal silver, we are going to start hitting all of the armor pieces on the model except for the chainmail, the axe head, and the wings on his back.
bringing back in that magic blue just to clean up any silver that might have overspilt so we can start moving into the next step. Okay guys, so we are going to bring in some of that chain metal silver. This is going to be for all those little underneath chain mail pieces, the emblems holding the cloak together, and the axe head, and the back brace for the wings. Okay guys, so bringing in some polished gold from Vallejo Game Air, we are going to start hitting this trim on the cloaks and we are going to start free handing in some gold designs on the front and back. some charred brown for the handle of the axe. So I went over the entire model with AK Interactive streaking grime and we are just going to start cleaning it off with a Q-tip and some white spirit. <laughs>
Okay, so we're just going to cover this axe head and dab on a little bit of rust streaks to the rest of the model. And same process as before, we're just going to take a Q-tip and a little bit of white spirit to work this rust streaks off. Okay guys, so after this I'm going to be hitting it with the pigment powders, um, a little bit more weathering, and some spattering of blood for the blood god. Um, but that is going to be about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. That is going to be all for this one, guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom, and we will see you for the next one. Thank you very much, and happy painting.